Yes, my peoples, it's T, and today we are unboxing the Mac Studio. Let's get it. So, as you can see, um, the box has arrived, and um, I haven't even taken it out of the original delivery packaging. Um, so, let's open up this first, um, and then let's get into it. Those are Oh, the packaging. Come on. <laughs> okay. So this comes very tightly wrapped. As you can see. Okay. And inside we have a generic brown box what could be inside <laughs> what could be inside so as usual opening apple products is always for me personally anyway it's always very therapeutic and satisfying um so let's let's get to this so let's let me turn this around here actually ah, that's that and now let's open up the box open up the box oh so inside we have the mac studio in all its glory in all of its glory as you can see here mac studio okay so now let's continue with the unboxing again apple apple's new design language on the on their boxes um it doesn't, it doesn't come wrapped in plastic anymore um, and it's just normally a simple little tab, which I think all companies should start doing a little tab just to, ah, it's a little simple tab just to fully unlock the box. And then voila. Okay. So let's see what's first in the box. So as you can see first here, we have the typical standard um, Apple, instruction manual etc that you get in the box and usually you get a sticker as well of course this is a bigger sticker because it's a bigger product so we get that in the box lovely and then of course we have the main piece here so there's, there's little arrows here which describe how to open this so uh, but the arrows are pointing outwards so i'm guessing i just need to just pull here <laughs> lo and behold very nice little design there in the box and then now as you can see we have the Mac Studio in all of its glory. So let's put this here for now. We will unwrap that slightly later. We also have in the box a braided power cable for the Mac Studio. Um, and it's braided in black actually. So quite surprising. I thought these would have came in the standard Apple white. Um, but yes, it's in black, which is very nice, very strong, very steady. Um, so yeah, let's open that up as well because this is also very satisfying to do brand new um, and the length of it is is uh, so yeah, pretty decent length so it can fit nicely behind your desk um, and tucked away behind the Mac studio okay also the Mac studio obviously as you can tell by the name of it is typically designed for to be using studios so in professional environments um because it's such a beast of a machine but of course if you have the money feel free to buy it for your home as well <laughs> um and it will be very very powerful so let's unbox this again it has a little tab here pull this and then voila satisfying again and there you go it's a very beautiful slab of metal <laughs> right here um so that is the Mac Studio unboxed in all of its glory, as you can see. So, now, now, let's move on to the actual product itself. Um, as you can see, the Mac Studio um, is essentially a Mac Mini times two. So the Mac Mini is, is, is normally half this, 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 um, 
this height. So it looks like two Mac Minis put together, um, which is which is quite an interesting design from Apple. Um, on the front, we have two USB-C ports and the usual um, SD card slot reader as well, which is very handy to have on the front when you're in a studio and you want to put your media in and get it quickly onto your onto your device. On the back, we have again um, more USB ports, USB-C. USB-A as well as an Ethernet port, the power cable in the middle, which looks like a heart or um, Disney as well, potentially um, interesting. And then also we have um, a headphone port and the HDMI port as well and the power cable. And underneath you have the, the ventilation for the fans, keeping this beast cool and the Mac Studio engraved onto the back of this device. So again, very sturdy, pretty heavy, um, and then yes, beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery from Apple. So to give you some stats about this, um, there's two variants essentially of the Mac Studio. There's the M1 Max, um, which is a, the chipset, the chipset you can find in a number of different Apple products as well. And then there's also the M1 Ultra, which the Mac Studio is the first device to actually have the M1 Ultra. And essentially the M1 Ultra is two M1 Maxes essentially slapped together. Um, as you can imagine, very, very powerful unit. So with the M1 Max, yes, as you know, it has the 10 core CPU, uh, 32 core GPU, and 64 gigabytes of unified memory, as well as 400 gigabyte uh, memory bandwidth. But with the M1 Ultra, it takes it to the next level. We have a 20 core CPU, 64 core GPU and up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory. This tiny little box can outpower anything else on the market right now. Very, 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 very powerful. And again, a beast of a machine with the M1 Ultra. It can also take up to five HD 4K displays. Um, so it can, it can do four via USB-C. Um, as well as one via HDMI. So again, if you want to have a a cockpit style, airplane style mode, um, you know, view of your of your of your work, um, you can have five screens set up, and and that would be um, this machine can handle that all in one go. So again, this is the Mac Studio, and I recommend buying this for your studio setup if you have one. If you don't have one then better get one <laughs> and talking about displays there's a video upcoming um, with a display that you can use with the Mac Studio and any Mac device to be fair um, but you see more on that later um, so the final thing I want to talk about here is price so as, as you can imagine this is a very powerful machine probably Apple's greatest most powerful machine out there and essentially um, it starts from £2,000 in the UK um, but of course, if you go if you go up to the the M1 Ultra, then the price is four thousand pound. Of course, twice the price for twice the power. Um, but this is also configurable um, to have the maximum memory, maximum capacity, and it can go up to a total of actually eight thousand um, pound to have this customized to the maximum power possible. So that's the price, and that's the Mac Studio. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz.